All right, so a viewer of mine was asking how to get a terminal emulator running in Vim. So I'm guessing that he came from an IDE such as VS Code and he wanted to build his environment to something similar to that. So let me quickly walk you through on how to do that. I'm going to do this on NeoVim version 07.2. You're going to need a fairly recent version of NeoVim or Vim. And if you compile it from source, then make sure that you've compiled it with a terminal option. So the first thing we're going to do is get familiar with the Vim split window functionality. And if you never used that functionality before, it might feel awkward at first, but you will get used to it. So to do anything with the Vim split windows, we are always going to be using the keybind control W. So for example, control W V to open a window vertically, control W S to open a window horizontally, and to move around them, we're going to be using control W H K N G. Now, how do we resize windows? Because every time I'm going to open a new window, it's going to be taking half the screen. So to resize windows vertically, we're going to be using the control W command and then the less than or greater than sign. So let me show you how that works. So if I use control W less than, it's going to make the window smaller by one point. And then you can put the number amount before we run the command. So I can put 20 control W less than, and it's going to move the window size smaller by 20. And if I make it bigger, 20 control W bigger than sweet. So now to change the window size horizontally, we're going to be using control W plus or minus. So I can type in 20 control W plus is going to make the window bigger by 20 points. I can type in 25 control W minus is going to make it smaller by 25 points. And to close all the windows, except the one you're using right now, just use control W O and it's going to close all the windows. So let's say that we want to open a new window and use that for the terminal. So to do that, I'm going to use control W S to open a new window. I'm going to move to the window with control W J and then I'm going to make it smaller by running 10 control W minus. Now, to open a terminal on that window, I'm going to go to command mode. I'm going to type in terminal, press enter. Now, we have a terminal session running in that Vim window. To use that terminal, you have to go into insert mode, and you can run whatever you want to run. And to exit, you press control backwards slash control N. And then you can move out of this window, just like that. All right, now that's all great, but we don't want to be going through all that process each time we want to open a terminal. Because it can be annoying if each time that you need a terminal, you need to open a new window resize it and then open a new terminal session in that. So how do we do that more efficiently? We can use the command mode to do all of that for us. So if I open the command mode in Vim, the first thing that we want to do is open a new window right below. So to do that, I'm going to type in below, right split. And then in the command mode, you can use the pipe sign to chain commands together. So I can put in pipe. After we open the window, we can resize this window. Let's say, for example, size 10. And then I'm going to put another pipe and then I'm going to type in terminal. So what this does is going to open a new split right below. It's going to resize it to 10 and then it's going to open a terminal on that split. So let's try this. So that's great. But instead of having to type in this command every single time, we can bind this entire command to a key bind. So let's do that. So to make this a key bind, I'm going to go to the config NeoVim. And then you can type in the command directly in init.vim. But I have a file right here specifically for keybinds. So I'm going to go to that file. And then I'm going to put my keybind right in here. So I'm going to type in normal mode remap. And I'm going to map space C. And then I'm going to map that to a command. The command is going to be below right space split. And instead of using the pipe right here, we're going to be using the command bar. It basically does the same thing. After we open a new split, we're going to resize the split to size 10. And then we're going to put another bar command. And then we're going to open a terminal. After that, we're going to just type in CR to execute that command. Lovely. Now, one more keybind that we would like to do is a keybind to exit the terminal mode. Because using control backwards slash and control N every single time that you want to exit terminal mode can be a little bit annoying. It's too many keys. It takes a bit of time. It's just not very convenient. So let's fix that. So I'm going to make a new key bind, and this is a key bind for the terminal mode. So I'm going to type in T remap, and then I'm going to map escape to use the key bind control backward slash control N. Sweet. Now save and exit. Let's try that. So now if I open Vim, I press space C, and it does exactly what we wanted. It makes a new window and opens the terminal session right there. And if I press I, I can start using the terminal session right away. And to exit, I'm just going to press escape. And now I can move to a different window. Lovely. And we can do the same exact thing for the file tree. I have a keyboard for that already. I can use space T to open the file tree. 
And inside here, I can open any file. And now we have an environment that's similar to an IDE. You have your file tree and you have a terminal. And if you want to be using this environment all the time, every single time you open Vim, you can put these commands in the init.vim file. And every single time you open Vim, you're going to open it with a file tree and a terminal. But I'm not going to do that. I like my terminal to be separate and I don't like using file trees. I just feel like file trees are a bit annoying to use. For example, if I just want to find the file, you have to go to a directory and then a subdirectory and then another subdirectory and then open the file. But if I'm using a fuzzy finder, that I can just type in the file name, I can go to the file right away and then just start editing. But this is just me, you do you, you can configure your Vim environment to whatever you like. So that's about it for this video. I hope that you enjoy watching and learn something new. If you want to see more content like this in the future, then please subscribe. I'm going to peace out and I hope that you have a wonderful day. See ya.